Good morning, thank you for tuning in to your daily operations weather brief for Thursday, September 5th. We've seen some low clouds roll into the area in the past uh, half hour or so. Uh, we do anticipate these low clouds to clear out a little bit as we go towards the late afternoon. Still remaining mostly cloudy as we already have a, a thick cirrus shield over us from approaching Hurricane Dorian. Going to remain a uh, Pretty dry today, not expecting really any rain until after work hours uh, late this afternoon and early this evening. Uh, winds should remain uh, fairly low too until we get into tonight, until we get into the uh, big show tomorrow. Taking a look at our surface analysis across the region, we did have a very weak front that was kind of fizzled out across uh, the mid-Atlantic here. You can see on this map, um, did bring some spotty showers across the central and northern portions of the Delmarva last night. Uh, that's really not going to affect our weather much today, um, other than uh, perhaps being some of the cause for giving us these low clouds in the past couple hours. As we go throughout today, going to just be seeing some mostly cloudy to overcast skies. Winds will be onshore. Um, and we are going to be uh, keeping an eye on all day at Hurricane Dorian down there just off the South Carolina coast. It's looking like it's going to make landfall somewhere between uh, Cape Lookout and uh, Cape Hatteras and then continue northeast and then brushing us tomorrow with plenty of uh, with uh, some rain and uh, some gusty winds. But we will be talking more about Dorian during the 10 a.m. weather briefing. As of 8.15 a.m., just seeing uh, scattered to broken decks between two and 500 feet, so some low clouds, overcast of 1,500, and then uh, some restricted visibilities down to around five statute miles. Winds were from azimuth 030 at seven knots, temperature of 78 degrees. Take a quick look at our satellite here. Um, can't really see the low clouds underneath this thick cirrus shield, but this uh, these upper level clouds are associated with Hurricane Dorian, and this is pretty much what we're going to be seeing on the satellite uh, throughout the day today. Taking a look at our forecast for today, going to be seeing that high get up to near 80 degrees late this morning, then uh, dropping this afternoon as that easterly wind picks up. Seeing those easterly uh, winds pick up around 7 to 12 knots by lunchtime, then increasing the 9 to 14 knots in gusty in the late afternoon hours. Those east, east northeasterly winds will then increase overnight slowly around uh, 10 to 15 knots in gusty, expecting a wind advisory uh, likely uh, by midnight tonight, and then winds will continue to increase, getting uh, with gusts between a 30 to 35 knots by mid morning, and then we'll see those uh, winds really start to pick up with gusts to 45 to 50 miles per hour um, by the late morning and into the early afternoon hours of Friday, expecting a low tonight to uh, near 73 degrees. As far as rainfall, going to be dry throughout the day, I think. Can't rule out a slight chance of sp a sprinkle in the early afternoon hours, but that's looking unlikely. We'll start to see those chances slowly increase after about 4 p.m., then become more likely after 8 p.m. with rain uh, definitely going to be in the area after about uh, 2 a.m., and we're not going to really see any breaks of the rain once we get past uh, 4 a.m. and into the early afternoon hours of Friday. Let's take a quick look at our terminal forecast. It's a little complicated, so the main story here is just going to be seeing a few uh, lower-level clouds throughout the day today between about 1,000 to 2,000 feet, and then some uh, few to scattered decks of clouds between four and 10,000 feet, and then that uh, overcast cirrus shield will be the story throughout the day. Once we get into tonight, we will be seeing those ceilings drop uh, down to 500 feet or lower, especially in any rainfall, and uh, possibly seeing those ceilings as low as about uh, two or 300 feet if we get into any heavy rainfall by the early to mid-morning hours of Friday. Taking a look at our next couple of days, tomorrow is going to be our big weather maker, thanks to Hurricane Dorian, going to be cloudy throughout the day, gusty winds and rain. We will be seeing those wind gusts up to 50 miles per hour. Uh, that'll be mainly on the uh, coast and over there on the islands. Uh, expect a little bit uh, less here on the main base. Uh, it is going to be raining throughout the entire day tomorrow, it looks like, from around uh, 4 a.m. until sunset, and then we'll see those rain chances uh, quickly drop off and expecting about a half in one and a half inches to two inches of rain possible with uh, more rain likely along the coastal sections high of 77 tomorrow friday night looking at a uh, cloudy and breezy it does look like rain's going to mainly end um around sunset can't and then uh, just a chance of a lingering shower until midnight and then those winds will be dropping off too as we go throughout the night friday the uh, strongest wind should be um really done 
uh, by about uh, 10 p.m. Friday night, and then we're going to get some drier and uh, air moving, and that'll help to get the low down to around 64. Saturday looking like a very nice day under partly cloudy skies. Uh, could be seeing just a little bit of a, a, a brief wind gust to around 25 knots through the morning hours of Saturday, then uh, seeing those winds die down for the afternoon and looking at a high of 82 for Saturday with uh, no chance of rain. That'll do it for your daily operations weather brief. We'll be back at 10 a.m. for your full weather briefing, extended outlook, and a closer look at uh, incoming Hurricane Dorian. Have a great day.